Oh. My mum wanted me to be a doctor. Uh, <laughs> wow. wow! What was she wow. thinking? Oh, what's oh, her expectations this like now? Apple didn't fall far from the tree. Oh, when did she start giving up that dream? At what age did she start going, Carl, you don't need to study your books anymore. Go, go and play with the worms in the garden. I was uh, shopping with Carl before Christmas and we went round sort of Piccadilly and St James's and those really beautiful shops around there. And I went in one shop, you had to um, ring a bell to enter. Yeah. They came down and it's like a, a iconoclastic sort of shop and they, they found things from churches and uh, nearly all Russian, 16th century pieces onwards. This beautiful uh, uh, carvings and, and paintings and statues. And I went, oh, it's beautiful. And as I was looking round, I heard Carl sidle up to the bloke and go, what's the newest thing you've got here? <laughs> Yeah, sure, that's his first thought. I mean, that is the wrong question to ask of a man who's clearly in antiques, yeah. um, proud of the fact he's got 16th century iconoclastic kind of Russian stuff, to ask, what's the newest thing you've got here? Is that, I mean, what sort of question is that? Oh, I don't know, probably the doorbell. I don't know, what, what does he want to say? Oh, my shirt. What, what, <gasps> what were you, were you thinking? hoping for? I think it's an all right question, because he, he was saying there's loads of old stuff in there, and he kept going, oh, about the old stuff. <laughs> what did to say? Well, what's, your, what's the newest thing you've got? <laughs> and what was do you know what he said? To the other question he asked him, he said, how often do you get new stuff in? And I said to him, why did you ask that? He said, well, I was thinking, if you've got antiques and you sell it all, what's left? Like someone's going to sell all the antiques in the world because they're not making... He said, because they're not making any new stuff. What does that mean? They're not making any new stuff. But I know for a fact no one's ever going to go in there and buy the lot anyway. I mean, <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> I'm not at any point in my life, and I don't think it'll ever happen, will I go, I need some old Russian wood. Cause that's it was that's... brilliant. No, it was, it, Steve, it, no. it was beautiful. It's amazing stuff. There's stu there, it's, there's mm. um, um, uh, these things uh, from the 16th century of sort yeah. of like saints and monks, and they're carved. But and there's they're... loads of it. It's just all piled up. No one's interested. Oh. If I was him, I'd go, do you know what? I'm into this, but no one else is. Close shot. <laughs> because seriously, it's just piled up, up piles up on piles of like old bits of wood with pictures on it and that. But think of, a man, just think of a man 400 years ago that carved this, that carved this, uh, you know... No, but nobody wants it, do they? I've never heard anyone say, you know, oh, look, it's my birthday coming up. I'll tell you what I'd love. What? A bit of old Russian wood. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't happen. That's what I'm saying. I've never heard anyone saying it like... I've never overheard someone saying, you don't know where the Russian shop is, do you? <laughs> and this is in London where the rates are high. There was this thing, right, Steve? Uh, them old drawings on, like... It was like a panel from a church that someone had, uh, that okay, had painted. Right, yeah. And I think it was, like, you know, from sort of, like, 1590 or something. Yeah. And it was this uh, a, a picture of this uh, this mm. saint, wasn't it? It said 1590. It could be from any time, really. So there's this one there, right, leaning up against the wall. And uh, <laughs> most of them in there was that Stalin bloke, right? Mm. But there was this little... Right, bloke. can I just start with there? Lenin. Right, okay. all right, then. Yeah. Yeah. So, so he was on all these bits of wood and stuff. But I saw this other little face, right, little fellow with a beard. Right. So uh, I said, who's this bloke here? He said, oh, uh, the story there, right? He said, uh, it's this little fella, and he got mugged back in Russia. <laughs> this is right, isn't it? This is what he was yeah. saying. He said he got mugged. This is that, that term. That, I love that, that term in, in a 16th century Russian wood. Oh, no, I'm being mugged. So, so he, he got mugged. He got happy that. slapped. And, uh, <laughs> and, and he said, I've had enough of this. Right? Yeah. And he went to live in the woods, right? Made, like, a little shed. Stayed there. People went to visit him, and, and like, if you've got a problem, you knock on his door and you go, oh, I'm sick of it. And he'll sort of say, yeah, I know what you mean, I've, I've moved out of the city and what have you. And he'd make them feel better, and then they go again. Now, why has that man <laughs> got a plaque? <laughs> if he was around now, there's no way he'd have a bit of wood with his face on it, is what I'm saying. If someone had got fed up with living in London or New York or whatever, and they go, I'm going to go and live in the woods, people wouldn't visit him and he won't get a piece of wood with his face on, is what I'm saying. <laughs> but this man is selling it for about, I think it was about 750 quid for, for this bloke's head. But the chances are that this is either a well-known Russian folktale or it may even be a piece of classic Russian He's literature. He's a saint. He was a saint. Or, oh, okay. He was canonised. Well, yeah. yeah. everybody, everybody was a saint years ago. That seems to be, like, thrown about, doesn't it? He was a saint now. Name him one now. Yet yeah, this fellow lived in a woods in a hut. Oh, yeah, that's Saint John or whatever. <sighs> he's not a saint, he's done nothing. If anything, he's sort of said, I can't be bothered with living in a city with everyone else. Everyone else has got to put up with it, but I can't put up with it, I'm going to live in the woods. Well, if you can't put up with it, you're not good enough, are you? You've got no stamina. <laughs> and yet he gets a plaque, is what I'm saying. It's annoying. Who would, you like to see, who would you like to see get a plaque in the modern world? Who deserves a plaque, in your opinion? Probably, like, nurses and that, who, who do a lot of bad things that I think I couldn't do that, carrying lungs about and all that. <laughs> 
No, but I, I couldn't do... Do you know what I mean? That's that's one job that... Oh. I, my mum wanted me to be a doctor. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, what was she wow. thinking? Oh, what's oh, her expectations this like now? apple didn't fall far from the tree. Oh, when did she start giving up that dream? At what age did she start going... Carl, you don't need to study your books anymore. Go, go and play with the worms in the garden. When did she sort of, like, let you off that dream? Is it the day that she caught you with a spoon up your nose? 